Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how I take care of my professional brushes and how I clean and dry them using my Sigma products because I feel Sigma creates the best brushes and their cleaning system is also amazing. So the things I show you, most of these things are my previously owned and they did send in few cleaning products to me recently and I was in no obligation to create this video so it is all by myself. I basically love their products and this video is just for information purpose. I'm not sponsored anyway. So then we will be going on with the cleaning procedure, how I clean and dry them using their cleaning system. And in the end, I will also be showing you my favorite brushes from the Sigma brand. Now I'll be showing you how they look like, like most of them are dirty because I'm going to be filming the cleaning procedure later. So don't mind the dirty brushes. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we will jump on to the products that they sent in. So happy that they sent in the brush cleaning mat, which I was looking for since a long time. And this comes in with this kind of outer packaging to take care of the shape in transit. And this is what it looks like. It is a hot pink. It's a beautiful mat and it can stick on your sink uh, in your bathroom, in your washroom and you can then scrub your dust off the brushes. So it is very effective. So they have like created different places for eyes, for you know, face to rinse and wash. So they are like very creative with that and I'll be showing you how I use this few minutes later so also they did send in the 40 uh, I think this holds up to 44 brushes and this is the dry and shape uh, holder brush holder and this is what it looks like they have like such a great you know innovative products and I love this and you can hold your face brushes which are fluffy your hair down and your eye brushes which are like not so fluffy on the top and I will explain that later how to use this it came in un you know open so you have to assemble it when you receive it but it was really really easy to do that it was not at all difficult it was very easy it was very interesting and fun also to use so i'm gonna be using the sigma brush shampoo the liquid blush blush the brush cleanser so this is in this kind of bottle the oil one i think this one is not not the foam one so yeah let's get started with the practical aspect of the cleaning of brushes and how i keep them and dry them so i use the cleaning mat and i run water and clean it a little bit before going further i just make sure that it is evenly wet then i take out some of my cleaning um shampoo and i just scrub my brush on the mat until it is fully clean then I use water and I rinse off the whole shampoo make sure that there is no residue left and it's squishy clean and I really like it because it does not take a lot of effort with the mat and the shampoo combination we have to dry the brushes i washed so many of my brushes because i want to show you how the tower looks like basically i hang the eye brushes on the top and the face brushes on bottom it's very easy and uh, it takes a little bit of effort now you can be lazy and lie them on your towel but it will be worth it guys because you have to hold your brushes upside down so that the water doesn't get inside the tool and break off the glue you know joints that can you know wiggle your joints of the brushes and can make it loose over time and yeah you have to make sure that it is upside down and this star makes sure that your brushes are upside down and retains the shape so yeah this is all how i clean my brushes in a quick brief <laughs> tutorial and i think this was easy and uh, you got the information and now let's get started with our favorite brushes uh, as part of the video i'm quite excited because i'm gonna show you five most favorite brushes of all time from the sigma brand now i have more brushes from them but i think these are my top five i, I had to choose three and i thought i could do five but i think five is the best way because i think if i were to use if i were to do only top three those three would be face brushes because i use their face brushes 90 percent of the time so my most favorite brush uh the fifth number like going in ascending uh, the descending order so fifth number five brush is this sigma big precision e89 brush this is what it looks like 
Luckily, it's the one which is clean right now. I just washed it two days back. So this is an angular kind of baking brush. But as you see, this is too stiff that you can use it for your nose contouring. And guys, this is lovely. You can contour your nose with this or you can bake your nose with this or you can use it for both. I use it for both and this is perfect for that. You can also bake your forehead if you have like very close eyebrows. Uh, I do feel that like difficulty in baking on some of my clients but this one does the job in like baking on this area very easily and on the under eyes it is great but I like to use a bigger brush uh, you know thing going on our hair and you want to cut the eyeshadow also now the number four brush is the blending e25 brush now this one is dirty because I've just used it on my eyes for this I look I did in a quickly you know before the, doing the video so this is the blending e25 brush now why i like it that it is a dupe for mac brush i don't remember the mac name but so I, what i like about this is that you can use it on crease you can use it to you know uh smoke out you can use it to cut out the crease as well like i used it for the entire teal portion going on on here and also to blend on the lower lid because it is like flat if you take it this way and it is thick if you use it this way so you can use it on your lid also but i didn't do that but sometimes what i use uh to do with this is that i use one part for the matte shadow and one part for the shimmer shadow if i'm on the run and good to go with this brush alone for the whole look now the number three brush this is the highlighter brush this one is a tapered highlighter f35 this is what it looks like if you like to use dome shaped brush for your brush uh your highlighter application this is the one i am not a fan of fan brushes I'm not a fan of fan brushes and it is such amazing for the highlighter. Let me just show you a little bit. So that is that. It's so easy. It goes on on whole face. You don't have to switch any brush. You can use it for whole face. You can even use it to dust off the excess powder if you feel your, your highlighter is powdery. So that is fine. The second favorite brush of all time uh, in my collection is the Concealer B Blend Kabuki brush. And this one is used for concealer only by me. But also you like to use it for contouring sometimes when I want really sharp kind of um, contour. So it is the F79 which is a very dense concealer brush. Like you can see that. It's not a very fluffy kind of concealer brush like um, a contour brush. Like if I show you an example, the real techniques one is very very fluffy and this is too dense so it helps in you know blending out the concealer in my under eye chin forehead nose and also cream contour blending so you can see i have used it for contour before this for this look but that was after my concealer so you can use it for multiple purpose but but do not do it unless you're on the rush because concealer and powder they are different family so don't not suggested for that <laughs> so last and the favorite brush of all time is the flat kabuki f80 brush guys this just blends in the foundation like a dream i might need to go on a little bit on some areas with the blender but that's with every on final foundation brush i have used and some foundations have that consistency that is a little bit too mad a little bit too you know flat that brushes can cause a little bit of lines but otherwise it's so easy and it doesn't take any longer than mm. like two minutes to blend out all my foundation and i'm good to go like it saves a lot of your time and you don't need to da like dampen it like guys it's a brush save your time it's an investment a great investment but definitely a big suggestion for foundation wearers <laughs> so if you're using it for professional use or personal use if you like to spend a little bit extra on brushes I, mean, I think this is justified 25 dollars is not much for like a foundation kind of brush so get this one good investment i like it this was all hope you liked it and hope you learned something from this video and this video was helpful for you and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye